If you jump into Expanded right now, you might run into something known as a Donk deck. Essentially, this is a deck that wins before you ever have a chance to play. It does this with Latios EX's first attack, Fast Raid, which, do, which does 40 damage, and if you go first, you can use this attack on your first turn. At first, 40 damage isn't a lot, but when you boost it with things like Plus Power, which does an additional 10 damage to your opponent's active, and yes, it does stack, and you add things like, where is it, there's Muscle Band, that does 20 more damage to your opponent's active, and then you poison them with Hypnotoxic Laser, do more damage with Seviper, and then just keep using Scoop Up Net and Super Scoop Up with Headbutt Tantrum, and you can knock out something like Shaman EX, or depending on how things go, you might be able to knock out a GX like Dedeni or Tapu Lele, and there is the rare occasion where you can use Mew with Memories of Dawn to hit for a Psychic Weakness and knock out, I think, Mewtwo and Mew GX. There are some negatives with this deck, obviously, and that's if your opponent benches more than one Pokemon, uh, Fast Raid can't knock out two Pokemon. So basically it has to be a perfect scenario where your opponent only starts the game with one Pokemon, it has fairly low HP, and you're able to just get off and firing. For this video, I'm putting 15 minutes on the clock, and I'm going to see how many wins I can get in 15 minutes, because if you can't get Fast Raid off, basically you just concede. So let's see how well I do. All right, 15 minutes starts now. Let's see if we can do this against Nintendo D4. If I had to guess, I'd say this might be Pitoram, and that would be horrible. Uh, the roller skates, I like roller skates. You, you flip heads and you draw three cards. That's really good. And there's a Meowth V. So this is, it's possible that I win this one. It's unlikely, but it's possible. That's a good way to start. Okay, so trainer's mail. Let's see what I can get. I got the hypnotoxic laser. That's exactly what I want. So hitting 180. This is why I want to play the Marshadow in this deck. Uh, if you can find a spot for Marshadow, go for it. Um, I really, I think I just want to get rid of these ball cards, to be honest. So I'll go get Latios, just so I can have it. But yeah, the Marshadow GX, that hits for Fighting Weakness. It's something I want to try out, but this is sort of a... Wow. I'm just getting all my Scoop Up cards. And there's an Acrobat, there's a Skyfield. So the Skyfield I definitely want right here. This one just lets you do a whole bunch more. And I'll see if I can burn the Super Scoop Up right here. Uh, yeah, and they're just going to concede that definitely happens sometimes. Your opponent... If your opponent is well-versed in Expanded, and they see you playing this deck, and they think you have it, they'll probably just concede. And I think they just sort of saw that I had it. Um, wow. Yeah, the, this happens sometimes. Sometimes you find yourself in a scenario where it all comes down to a trainer's mail. And sometimes you find yourself in a scenario where it all comes down to an acrobite. And, oh, that one hurts. I don't know if I can do this now. Um, I can drop the laser. I can drop the zigzagoon. Uh, I, yeah, I think I might be a little short there. If I get the super scoop ups, maybe. I'll just keep hitting them with zigzagoons. I'm just sort of burning the scoop ups. You know, in a certain in a certain world, you kind of want them to fail, but it's just thinning your hand a little bit. Okay, so there's Skyfield. I'll probably ditch the Acrobite just to get Latios. Maybe I should have grabbed the Shaman. You know, I my odds of getting it here are quite low, but it's possible they just can't do anything on their turn. Uh, I'll grab the scoop up net. And trainer's mail again. There's another plus power, so I'll grab the plus power so because I can easily get rid of that. But yeah, 190, that's definitely, it's not the easiest number to hit with this deck. Yeah, you need everything to go right, and I wouldn't say everything's gone wrong for me here, 
but things haven't been going great. Yeah, like I, I whiff that, that's bad. Uh, I'll get an Ultra Ball, I will Shaman, and I'll use the Bicycle first. This one, yeah, I'm not sold on it, it just lets you draw until you have four. I like roller skates a lot more, but you can only have four roller skates. All right, and Zigzagoon. Yeah, I think I might get to like, after poison damage and everything, I might get to like 150 or something. And roller skates again, let's see. And you're seeing, I don't play any supporters, so I'm getting really low on my, uh, my deck count here. So the scoop up, let's see if I hit that. I do. So it's gonna be close. It, it all really comes down to, do they have anything on their turn? Cause it's possible they just can't bench anything on their turn. Uh, I think I just prized a bunch of Viper. So I, yeah, I think it's gonna be not possible. So there's that, so I retreat. Go, trainer's mail. Do I have anything I can get? I got muscle band. Sure, let's see if the comp search is probably like a plus power or something. But yeah, I mean, even if I had the Surviper, I would have needed. Oh, they gave me the win. Yeah, I was just about to end my turn. I was just about to end my turn with my attack. So if they would have just hung around a little bit more, I would have conceded. That's sort of the, you know, it's a bit of a degenerate deck. You know, you take forever on your first turn just to try and get a quick knockout. But that's sort of the honor system with this deck is if you don't get it, you just concede. You know, that's why if I see my opponent bench, you know, three Pokemon or just put three Pokemon in play, I'll just instantly concede. But if I think I can do it, then I'll, I'll do everything I can to get it. If not, then just concede. It's, this deck is great if you're just trying to get your daily wins. See right here, I... Depending what I'm playing against, I might concede, but if this is a weak Pokemon and this is a weak Pokemon, who knows? It all depends what I'm playing against. And that is an instant concede. You see anything with that much hit points and... And no psychic weakness, then you concede. All right, so I'm going first again. I'm doing I'm doing really well on coin flips. Uh, there's the memories of Don Mew. I think I'd say it's more than fifty percent. It's like sixty percent. If my opponent mulligans, that's usually a good sign. Uh, if they play Charon, that's an even better sign. You know, when you play this deck, you'll lose a lot, so you'll flip-flop between good decks and lower tier decks. Uh, there's Vulpix and Magnemite. So what I can do here is I can actually win, because I can Zigzagoon ping that for knockout, and then knock this guy out. So I will Hypnotoxic the active, I will Zigzagoon the bench, so I need to hit this six times, not the easiest thing to do. Um, yeah, I guess I can attach to the active, because that thins a card out. I will need to scoop up the Zigzagoon at some point. All right, Shaman EX time. And the, the computer search, I think, is the best A spec in the deck here. Okay, now I have to do some math. So I have to bench that. Um, yeah, I, I have to get rid of that. Doesn't matter if I use computer search or, yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm getting a shaman either way. I still need to ping that three times. And how many plus power? I play two plus power. There's poison damage. So as long as I can string together three more zigzagoons, I get the win. Uh, let's skate it up. There's three cards. Uh, the muscle band doesn't make a difference. So I'm just gonna thin a little bit to increase my chances of getting what I need. Uh, yeah, I just need the scoop up nets and the super scoop ups and I win. So you're seeing how even if your opponent benches a Pokemon, you can still win. You know, it's not the end of the world. And I'll bicycle for one. I, all right, perfect. So I just need a scoop up net and it's game. I got a scoop up net, that is game. 
the game doesn't freeze. There we go. So there's a knockout there. And yeah, you're seeing the Donk deck took two knockouts. So sometimes even if you bench a backup Pokemon and you think, oh, there's no way I'm gonna get donked. Yeah, sometimes it happens. So it looks like I'm three and one. I might be three and two. I sometimes I'm forgetting sometimes to mark down my wins and losses, but I think I'm three and one, and that is a great starter. And here comes a mulligan. So I still think it's better for my opponent to mulligan. That just means I have better odds. Uh, random receiver, max elixir. This might be a tag team deck. I think this might be a loss coming up right here. All right, so there's a map. Is this the opponent I just played? Okay, so there are roller skates. If you flip heads on roller skates, you're, you're golden. I mean, I'm just gonna pretty much have it here. Okay, so Zigzagoon goes down. Um, I think I'll trainer's mail in case we get like footballs and stuff because the acrobikes, I think they're fine. You know, it's acrobikes. You know what you're getting. Uh, there's Ultra Ball, so yeah, I'm just going to get rid of the Acrobite because they might ditch some things I don't want to lose. So I will go get Zigzagoon. And I tried filming this video a little earlier and I was just having horrible luck. So I can't remember if I talked about this, but Marshadow GX in the deck makes a lot of sense because you can hit for Fighting Weakness, so you hit Dark Types and Normal Types. But I have another video with another deck very similar to this one. So you will see Marshadow GX in that one. This one is just fairly bare bones. Uh, there's plus power. I'll try and scoop up a Zigzagoon. There we go. Uh, I'm going to need to see Muscle Band and all my plus powers. That's not going to do it. Um, I don't really want to ditch the Quick Ball. I think I'll just Shaman right here. Uh, there's the energy I need, and I will quick ball that away. Uh, how many scoop ups do I have? I have three super scoop ups and a scoop up net, so I think I just go and get the Shaman. I don't know, that might have been incorrect. It might have been better to just get nothing. But, you know, I'm trying to play as fast as possible because I'm trying to get as many wins right here. And this is bad. Uh, I think I just zigzagoon a couple times. And I'll scoop up the Shaman and hopefully I get another scoop up net or something right here. Uh, there's a super scoop up. So this is... Uh-oh. I might... Ah. Oh. Let's see how much I did. So I was 70 damage short, but I only played one plus power and I had muscle band. So if I'd played muscle band and the three plus power, that would have been 50 plus hypnotoxic laser. And that's a knockout because I was 70 short. Hypnotoxic laser would have done 30 damage. So I could have actually done 190 and that's not even the maximum potential of that Latios here is capable of. And do they have this is why you don't instantly concede uh, if you whiff it because they just might not find another Pokemon if they don't have another Pokemon I'm just going to oh um, that's not good so I guess I just get rid of the Zigzagoon the Shaman and the uh, Zigzagoon that's bad so I need to top deck something real good here, otherwise I think I'll probably concede, but I mean, there's a float stone, that's fine. So there's Slashing Claw. There's an Ultra Ball, that, okay, I have the Skyfield, so they actually did me a huge favor there, uh, whether they know it or not, so I will... I'm going for the win here, so I'll just get rid of the Mew and the Psychic Energy. I'll get Survivor, and I just need a Hypnotoxic Laser. Uh, yeah, they, they knew I had it. So that's another win, and we'll go to the next game. One of the issues with this video is that 
you know, sometimes the game takes a while to set up. Sometimes my opponent takes time to make a decision. Sometimes it takes time to find a match. So I don't quite know uh, what 15 minutes truly is. I was thinking of doing something like, you know, calling it soccer time where, you know, I, it's like injury time. I add to the end. So this will be my second to last one. Uh, win, lose, or whatever. This will be my last, uh, second to last one, sorry. And then I will do one more after this, and then we'll see. I think I'm four and two so far. And I'll pick a card. I don't care about benching. There's a Shaman. If I can, see, I would have won. Yeah, there's an Orangru. I would have won if they hadn't, uh, if they hadn't gone first, I would have won. But they don't really seem to have anything going, so I'll just, I'll see what I can do just to sort of show you that I would have had this one had uh, had this gone my way. So there's a Zigzagoon. I don't play anything like Field Blower, so that Rock Guard is going to hit me. So I'll just hit the Active, Trainer's Mail, uh, Bicycle, that'd be fine. Draw a couple cards, there's a Laser. And put some to sleep, that doesn't matter. So I'll draw until I have six. And, okay, that's a little annoying. I'll bicycle me, I'll get like an Ultra Ball. Nope, that's just a Float Stone. Uh, there's another laser. Trainer's Mail for Ultra Ball, there we go. So I'll get rid of the Acrobike and the Float Stone. And yeah, I'm just, again, I'm just gonna show you that I could have gotten it. I could have gotten there and then I'll go for one more game. Um, so this will put me at four and three with this loss. Uh, and sometimes I like to hold on to a hypnotoxic laser, but there's two down and I only play two. Uh oh. Okay, so I'll get the shaman. Probably bench that, because why not? Do I get sky field? No, I do get roller skates though. And yeah, this deck does rely on coin flips, so you're gonna have hard times and fun times. And I don't quite know what I'm at here in terms of damage. Uh, I've played three plus power, 50, 90. Okay, so I, I got it, so I'll just stop right there. And I'll fast grade for the knockout. And, you know, I'll tough it out. Who knows? Maybe they can't get anything going next turn. If they do, then I'll just concede, and I'll move on to the final game. And they got Winona. That is a concede. And that's just sort of the fair thing to do. Uh, and I'll go to the final game. And the final game, I am currently four wins and three losses if my... Uh, if I've kept track perfectly, I highly doubt that I have, but I'm four and three, so a loss here will put me at 500, but a win will make it five wins in quote unquote 15 minutes. Uh, definitely the Viper. Uh, yeah, and it's just coming down to an Acrobike at this point. And there's a Snorlax V. I can hit 220. Okay, I'm just going to count that as. Uh, you didn't see that one. That didn't count. So for the true final game, you didn't see that last one. That didn't count. Uh, I'm facing a lightning colorless deck. Really hoping this isn't Pikachu and Zekrom or something. But the main reason I wanted to make this video is just to show you that... Uh, one second, let's see what happens. Just to show that, let's say you spent 15 minutes on PTCGO on a normal day. That would be maybe one game. Maybe, you know, if your opponent takes five minutes, you take five minutes. Uh, let's say one and a half games. With this deck, by the time you'd finished one and a half games normally, I am on my fifth win. So in 30 minutes, you could easily get a full, full day of win. Uh, I almost grabbed the wrong thing there. So that's one huge benefit with this deck is that if you're just trying to you know get your daily wins with PDCGO, 
play this deck. You know, yes, it's degenerate. Yes, it's kind of ruining the fun of the game. But, you know, as long as the people using the deck understand that if you don't have it, you should concede, then it's fine. You know, I'd much rather you play this against me than a mill deck because I might spend 15 minutes against the mill deck trying to win and just not just not having it. Damage plus power, that's good. Whereas with this, you know, you spend two to three minutes trying to get a win, and if you can't do it, you just concede. That's so much better. Um, this is interesting. There's a muscle man, that's really good. Okay, I mean, I have, I think I wanna scoop up the Zigzagoon just a bunch of times because I need to start ramping up the damage. If I waste the scoop up nets on the shamans, uh, that wouldn't be great because I do need to do quite a bit of damage to knock out a Tapu Koko V. But it'd be pretty cool to finish off the video with, there we go. Um, I think I quick ball the ultra ball to get a shaman. Um, question here is do I risk the super scoop up how important I think I do and I shouldn't have of course okay so that's perfect I think I go get something like a scoop up net if I have one left I have a super scoop up uh, I'm out of shaman unfortunately I did prize one just trying to think what do I get that could help me here I think a super scoop up is about all I can do right now. Uh, so I just gotta hope I hit heads on one of these. Perfect. Uh, yeah, and I'll do it again. Okay, that was because it's 50-50. You get it out of your hand, you get to draw an extra card. There's a Hypnotoxic, that's perfect. Doesn't matter that they didn't go to sleep. Roller skates, three more cards, awesome. Uh, let's Acrobite. There's a Survivor. I think I'm going to be just a little bit short here. There's a Zigzagoon. Uh, 11 minutes at 60. Hypnotoxic. Yeah, I'm a little bit short, I think. Uh, I, I ran out of juice, and let's see how close I got. 90. 10 damage short. I was one super scoop up flip away from winning. That, that hurts. That is, oh man. But you're just seeing how good this deck can be. You know, I, I did 190 damage before my opponent could take a turn. So I will, you know, I'll give them the win. I'll just sort of wrap up the video in the, after the concedes. Thanks for playing. But yeah, you just saw that I did 190 damage turn one. I was a super scoop up flip away from winning. So if you don't count that game that didn't exist, I went four and four in 15-ish minutes with a Latios EX Donk deck. You know, yes, it's a bit degenerate, but if you play it, you will start racking up wins. It's not that expensive of a deck to make. Uh, I'll leave the list in the description. Uh, and tomorrow I will be trying out the Feramosa GX Donk deck, which it's the same idea, but Fast Raid with Feramosa can do a little bit more, and I'll toss in the Marsh Shadow GX. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.